so much. Uh, Claude has taken the hassle out of dinner time. Always good Yee! news when everyone's back in school, right? We've got an um, easy one pan pork it's steak. It's an easy one pan cuddle. That's what we were describing oh, it as earlier. I mean, the smells are amazing. So, basic, it's pork steaks, mm -hmm. which we rarely, I mean, I never really I'm cook saying this pork to you. steaks I'm very scared. Often. I was saying this only earlier in the week, actually, that I'm, uh, I'm worried I'm going to overcook it. It's going to yeah, be dry. It's going to get dry. We all think of pork steaks as being dry. So, I've got mm. a couple of tips. Oh, my word. <laughs> that is a good one. Um, that's going to lock in everybody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so to keep your pork steaks nice and juicy, mm. you do need to seal them and sear them. I mean, I'd say that kind of for any meat, but especially for the pork. So what I do is I salt and pepper them, and then I get on a little bit of olive oil and a little bit of butter for the colour, some good okay. Irish butter. And then you seal them on each side for five minutes. So you go sis, sis, for five minutes on each side so that they're kind of cooking, but they're properly sealed in because when you seal meat in like that, it keeps all the lovely juiciness inside of it. And then with the same pan, because the, the flavour <laughs> of the flavour from the... It's good, isn't it? It's flavour She's in such from... a happy place, look at her face. <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> really good. Polly. Have you gone as the mash um, I've gone mash. Every I've two, I have to tell you something. What's that? I mean, maybe I shouldn't say this on air. I know I'm going to say that now. Oh, I know. <laughs> mm, Every word. time I leave the house in the morning and I'm coming in, and, and they, they'll start chanting you now as well, Craig. My husband, who like adores Holly, mm. and um, and or doggies who love Holly, Holly too. They all watch her on TV, obviously. <laughs> Mahari turns around and goes, "Say hello to Holly, Holly." <laughs> and, and then all the dogs are like jumping, and I'm leaving in the morning, <laughs> and it's the most. And I'm going to video it one day. <laughs> Please video and send that to me. <laughs> so be my you. new alarm clock. Because you've got boxers, haven't you? I've got one boxer Boxer's and one pointer cross. Yeah, they're so gorgeous. I have boxers, and if you make that noise to any boxer, yeah, they go I get crazy. so excited. Yeah, yeah they, they do, do, don't they? Mm. Okay, so oh. then with the same pan, and it's brilliant because you can use the same pan. Because the, the, basically the flavour from the pork fat is so good. It's so delicious. Sticky. So you want to keep that. And then what you oh do then God. is, I've been kind of caramelising them away. You, add a ton, you can try and add a little bit of oil if you want to. I love butter with the apples. So these apples are peeled um, and they're cored and they're kind of in big chunks. Do they be cook cooking apples? No, these are actually, these are actually from, I can't even say, I picked these from, or a new tree. That was only, we only got like three years ago. We got it as a two year old, five year old now. And these are actually Royal Gala, but you can use Pink Ladies. Or it doesn't you really matter, whatever you. Well, or does they're it? very delicious. There's a really, there's a certain flavour, like a kind of acidic y taste. Yeah. In there. It's really yeah. good. Well, that flavour, I mean, that's probably because from the garden, you know, they, you know, you do get that kind of more bitter flavour when you grow them Yum. on your own. I'm putting on our own honey as well, which is lovely. So this is the honey from or summer harvest um, that we harvested uh, just a couple of weeks ago. I love it. I know. Do you want to taste it? That we only have a few pots this year. It wasn't a great year for honey, but um, we've only got a few pots this year. But it's delicious. It's taste of all of everything that grows mm. around. And then what you want to do I'm is then back to there. this, back to the apples right. like this. And this, by the way, I know this is the sauce for here. You want to caramelise them all up. See, honey and butter is magic. This is really? fantastic as a dessert. Just this on its own. Yeah. I was going to say that looks like a dessert. As a dessert, right? So it's gorgeous as a dessert. And what you can do is you could do it with figs, you oh could God, do it with pears. It's delicious, yeah. It's really light, actually. It's, it's good, really isn't good. It? Yeah. Okay, so I'm putting the things on here. And then the pan is going back on. And all those gorgeous juices of the honey and everything, mm. put the onions in. And then you get your garlic. And that's the base of your sauce. And that's the base of the sauce. The sauce is super simple. So then what you want to do is kind of scrape it all around so you're scraping up all the flavour in the bottom mm -hmm. and it's all getting absorbed into the onions which is the base of everything right and then I'm putting in whole grain mustard I'm usually always using Dijon but for this it's whole grain is better and you mix that all in as well and then I'm putting so in tasty. It's, it's so tasty so good, isn't it's it? so, so good I know on. yeah I'm putting in cider with the cider yeah does it matter? Because cider varies. You can get really sweet cider. Or... Well, I was thinking more alcoholic, like strong cider. Oh, yeah. And is it when you're cooking, is it better not to have it too strong? Does it not really matter? Or goes down the same way? Um... Doesn't matter, does it? I actually don't know. Am I over there? Let's go Am with I... stronger the better. I'm thinking the cider. I'm really kidding. Let's go stronger the better. Well, I would say, do you know what? Um, if I was thinking about it, I would say with pork, you want a sweet cider. Okay. And I'm not, I don't know mm. if pork. If, is it st when it's stronger? Is it sweeter or is it? Is it? I don't know. It's better. Is it better? 
Well, out of a glass it is. What? When it's sweeter? No, stronger. When it's stronger. Yes. It makes you funnier, oh, dance man. better, those kind of things. <laughs> so I've got my double cream in there as well, right? And what you want to do there. And then the sage. I picked some sage as well. And then you pop the sage in as well. So while you probably weren't looking, I put double cream in there as well. And then you want to let that simmer away for about 10 minutes until it turns into this. I mean, look at this. Isn't this crazy? And then what I usually do then is put my pork steaks in here. And all my apples in here as well. The way it's all glistening. I know. It's so, I know. It's so good on I the know. eye. I know. It's so good. It's like, yeah, I was about to oh, curse mm. it so good. <laughs> also, Cavallo <laughs> Nero is the greatest vegetable in the world. I know. I didn't realise you liked it. So yeah, what I, I do then, right, is I get the, the pork steaks and I put them back in the sauce. And then I kind of keep wrapping them around in it. And the apples as well. And if you can, I'd leave that off the, kind of off the heat for about five minutes, and then you've got to have buttery mashed potato. There is actually no argument about this. Yeah, Roast potatoes it, won't it do it, chips won't do it. They have to be buttery mashed potatoes with lashings of butter. And then you put all the apples all around it. You're and nearly I... done. What? Oh, Me. You're nearly done. That sauce yeah. with I know, mashed potato I love it. is like <laughs> insane. And then some cavalonero, which I know is Craig's favourite, right? It's so delicious. And the easiest one to cook. It's hard to destroy it. Oh. It really is. It's really And good. then all the sauce. If you don't the like the merrier. the more the merrier. Welcome Look to autumn that. on a plate, that is. Loda, thank you. Thank you. Awesome. <laughs> Love that. Thank so you good. so much. Thanks, Loda. If you Gorgeous. would like to try making Clodagh's recipe, uh, then you can do. All the recipes from our chefs are on the free this morning.